What is going on everybody? Those who don't know, I go by VLSG, and this is another Eagles game preview. If you guys are new to this channel, I love talking Philly sports to you every single day. Go down below and hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and make sure to turn on the notification bell so you guys are instantly notified whenever I upload a new video. Now before we get into the topic today, you might be asking yourselves why I am recording this on a Wednesday, because normally I would record this on a Friday or Saturday, but because Christmas is around the corner, I have to do this earlier in the week because spend time with family, going out and and just hanging out with them over the over the break. So doing doing that, so making this today, and also guys, if you did not see my short, I will be going live at 7:30 p.m. Eastern time to talk about three specific things that you will find out on the live stream. So be sure to tune in, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, let's get. Anyway, so, on Sunday at 1 o'clock Eastern Time, the Philadelphia Eagles take on the New York Giants. And if you guys think that if we can somehow find a way to get this job done and take revenge on the New York Giants from what they did to us the last time that we played them in MetLife Stadium, smash the like button. With all that being said, you guys know how we roll. We're going to start off with my three keys for swing this game. Alright guys, so my three keys for us to win this game. The number one key for us to win this game, you know exactly where I'm going. I'm going with Tech J on Hurts. Because the Philadelphia Eagles, they didn't do a bad job, but they didn't do a great job in terms of protecting Jalen Hurts. They allowed three sacks on Jalen Hurts, but especially for the fact that one of the reasons was that we didn't have our star offensive lineman or our rookie from Alabama, Lane Dickerson, and we had to replace him with Sue Opeta. So that really impacted our offensive line, and he's not used to playing on the left side with Jordan Mulata, unlike Lane Dickerson. So that really impacted us out. The Philadelphia Eagles, they need to get Lane Dickerson back, and they need to make a statement, and they really just need to protect Jalen Hurts in this game and not allow that many sacks. Because honestly, early in the game, that cannot happen. The number two key for us to win this game is to get pressure to Daniel Jones. If the Philadelphia Eagles, they didn't get as much pressure as we thought that they did on Washington in the beginning, but they started to pick it up. So, part of that will lead to my third key to winning, but the Eagles need to maintain more pressure and need to apply more pressure to the Giants quarterback Daniel Jones, as well as the running back Saquon Barkley as well. So, honestly, at the end of the day, just pressure Daniel Jones, pressure Saquon Barkley, get to everybody who is in the backfield, and no matter what, sack him, no matter what, get past the offensive line, and take him down, and hopefully get a strip sack, fumble, or something like that. My number three key for swing this game is to start early, is the Philadelphia Eagles. We started very slow against Washington. We allowed them to get 10 straight points before we started our comeback. The Philadelphia Eagles, we cannot do that this game. We are furious after what the Giants did to us last time. We are furious. We should have never lost the Giants game because of <coughs> Jalen Rager. But anyway, Philadelphia Eagles, we, we need to start early. We can't look lazy in the beginning. We can't look gassed. I know we're on a shorter week than what we normally are on, but... That's, that doesn't mean we can't go out and win this game against the team that we should have won against the first time and beat them the second time. So, the Philadelphia Eagles, we need to start early on defense, get to the quarterback already, and early into the game, get to the quarterback early, get on the receivers, play some nice coverage. Gannon needs to have a nice game plan for every piece on that defense, and assuming Nick Sirianni will return from for the fact that he did have the virus, assuming Nick Sirianni would, will return, he needs to have an impressive game as well. And I think we are furious about what happened last time against the Giants, so we're looking to take revenge and at least split with our division rival. So that's my three keys for us to win this game. Let's get into my two standout Eagles. Alright guys, so my two standout Eagles for this game. The number one standout Eagle, I'm going to go with Jalen Hurts again. 
the Philadelphia Eagles, but especially Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts has been able to provide what has been brought to the table in terms of his running ability and passing ability, especially the way he played last night against the Washington football team. He really showed it. He was getting back into his mood of running with the ball, and he really passed the ball well as well. Almost had a 300-yard game. I think it was like 297 or 279, one of those two numbers. But Jalen Hurts had a fantastic game last night. He was 20 for 26. And I think Jalen Hurts will keep it up against the Giants, and I think he definitely improves this week. My number two standout eagle, I'm saying Javon Hargrave. Is it think Javon Hargrave? I honestly think that Javon Hargrave brings the pressure to that Giants offensive line, gets past their offensive line, and especially will be the main factor on the defensive line to take care of Daniel Jones, and especially Saquon Barkley. With all that being said, let's get into my breakout eagle. Alright guys, so my breakout eagle for this game. This is going to be a pretty solid breakout eagle, but my breakout eagle for this game is Dallas Goddard. It's the Philadelphia Eagles, but especially Dallas Goddard. Since Dallas Goddard has got paid, he has started to tell, let everyone know why he got paid that, that extension. He is starting to make a statement on why he got that extension. And he is starting to deserve it more the better performances that he gets and he's starting to show us that right now so that's why I'm picking Dallas Goddard because he's starting to improve on the day after he got his contract and all the days going forward and all the days and games that Goddard has has played and he's really starting to get better so I think Dallas Goddard breaks out on Sunday. With all that being said let's get into my hot take. Alright guys, so my hot take for this game. This is going to be another pretty bold hot take. But my hot take for this game is that Nick Sirianni will return for this game against the New York Giants and will have a phenomenal coaching day. Yes, I think Nick Sirianni returns from the virus, assuming he will test negative within a 24-hour period, and he will find a way to make a statement saying, you know what, I am not going to let the virus get in my way. I am going to coach right and make sure we win this football game. And Sirianni also has started to improve as well. So I really think Nick Sirianni does find a way to make a statement and return back to the Philadelphia Eagles because he's going to pretty much learn to talk to the guys virtually throughout the week. And as we prepare for this Giants game, I think Nick Sirianni returns back to the field as the head coach and he will make a statement and he will show why he is the head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles and honestly at 7-7 seven seven, that's honestly really good for a rookie head coach like Nick Sirianni and I think he honestly keeps it up and I think he's starting to figure it out. With all that being said let's get into what you guys have been waiting for and that is my score prediction. Alright guys, so my score prediction for this game. This is the game where I think the Philadelphia Eagles, they want some revenge. They are furious about what happened against the Giants the first time that the Eagles played them, like I said before. But I think the way that the Giants played it, they played it in MetLife and they played it well. I think it switches this week as I think the Philadelphia Eagles will find a way to get the job done against the New York Giants. And I have the Philadelphia Eagles winning this football game 24-14. Yes, it's going to be a lower scoring game. The Giants will have their opportunities, but the Eagles will have better opportunities as assuming all everybody that is on the, on the virus list returns. And if they all return, the Eagles should be able to win this football game against the New York Giants in the second matchup. And we are furious. We are hungry. We are wanting to beat the New York Giants in the second time when we shouldn't have lost to them the first time. We are furious. We're going to be ready to go. And hopefully we find a way to squeak this one out against the Giants, get to 8-7 on the season, prepare for our second matchup against Washington the week after that. And you know what, man? Let's get it. Let's beat the Giants the second time. At least try to split with one of our division rivals. And you know what? Time to get back on track. You guys give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. How do you feel 
about this matchup in the second time that we played the New York Giants. What are your keys to winning the game? Your standout Eagles, breakout Eagle, hot take, and score prediction? Throw them down in the comments below. Want to see what you guys think, and let's go, Birds, baby. Let's try to at least split with our division rival and get the job done. And also, as a reminder, guys, I will be going live at 7.30 tonight. This video might be posted maybe at least within 15 minutes of that, but be sure to tune in at 7.30 on my channel. We're going to be talking Eagles before go on on holiday and Hopefully you guys have a Merry Christmas as well, and go spend time with the family, and you know what? It's always fun, it's fun. Anyway guys, we'll see you next time. Give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. I want to see what you guys think, and let's go birds, baby. Anyway guys, we'll see you next time. Peace out, flags flying, Merry Christmas!